Yo guys, just a quick little announcement before today's video. October 30th, we are having a meetup. All the information on the location and everything will be in the description. Um, this is gonna be like a Halloween meetup, so the person with the best costume that shows up is going to win a Ruruk helmet. We are also doing one online as well, so whoever can tag me in their best costume on a motorcycle, they tag me and Ruruk in a picture, you guys will be nominated to win another Ruruk helmet as well. That's basically all I have to announce to you guys this morning, but hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. Wow, look at that, dude. Look at that. It's me, G. Welcome back to another video. Guys, I am so stoked for today's video. We are going to go test out the brand new 2022 Yamaha R7. <laughs> hey, my man loves the wheelies too. Let's go. Uh, first of all, I got to get some gas. But second of all, I was going to make this whole video like some sort of like a surprise. Not exactly a surprise, but I'm just going to tell you guys, man, I want an R7. Well, I've been like constantly looking up videos on the R7. There really isn't that much out there because no one can get their hands on them. Uh, but lucky for me, I actually have a buddy who bought one who's thinking about selling one but he doesn't know yet but on the bright side he's gonna let me test it out today anyway now some of you guys might know this some of you might not but I love sport bikes now that might sound weird I've only owned one sport bike on this channel and it was the R6 and I only owned that thing for like two months but what actually got me into riding were sport bikes but if I end up buying another sport bike let me make sure no one's gonna turn in front of me uh, if I end up buying another sport bike, then I might actually stunt out this FZ07. Um, I've also been really wanting to do some track days, and I think the best thing to do would be to take a sport bike to the track. This thing might be fun there, but I just feel like it's not quite as fun as a sport bike would be. But I do feel like I'm going to have a very good comparison from this bike to the R7. I mean, I'm literally going from this to the other as soon as I get there. I'll probably end up making another R7 video down the road about the comparison between the two bikes, but you guys will probably hear some of that in today's video as well. Uh, now one thing that I love about this FC07 guys is just the, the power man. I love how much torque this bike has. It might not be the fastest bike, but dude, I'm, I always stick to the city. I'm always riding in the city. I sometimes hit up back roads, but even then, I'm never really going past 100 miles an hour, maybe 120, maybe 130, you know. <laughs> Where I find fun in bikes is the maneuverability and speed, or torque, damn it. <laughs> I absolutely love the torque on this bike and the fact that they just came out with a sport bike version of the FC07, oh my God, dude. But I haven't even ridden it yet, so. I guess we'll really find out how much I like it when we get it. Can we get six? Let's go! But guys, I honestly feel like Yamaha made this R7 for me. As long as that torque is there, dude... I am happy, bro. I hate to admit it, but like 50% of the reason why I got this thing is because of the sound. And the fact that you could get a sport bike that could probably sound the same... It's actually nuts to me, dude. Dude, it has been so hard to find this bike, though. I've literally called so many dealerships around here and debated driving literally seven hours to go find one. Um, not just to buy one, but just to find one because all of them are literally sold where we're from. Wow, look at that, dude. Look at that. Hey, man. How's it going? How are you? What's your name again? Juan. Juan? I'm Will. Nice to meet you, man. So this is it, huh? Yeah. Wow. It looks so good. Oh, yeah. It looks way better than pictures. Wow. That looks amazing in person. Mind if I sit on it? Gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. How are you liking it? Really? Wow. You got the sliders on it already? New tail, got that carbon fiber, the exhaust. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh, wow. Oh, it still sounds good though. Oh my God. It definitely is a little bit quieter, but I almost like that. 
loud enough, but not like loud enough where it's competition. Either. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh my god, dude. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'll be like 10 minutes maybe. Okay, you're free to take that out too if you want. All right. Wow. Okay, first thoughts. This thing is badass. I'll tell you that. Okay. So is my bike, so. Oh my god, bro. Okay, first thoughts. I want it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, so first of all, the seat's like a little bit more uncomfy than the FZ, but that's probably number one because of the riding style, but number two because it's a brand new seat. And it takes a little bit to get these to to get them like to feel nice, you know? I don't know what I'm saying, dude. I'm, I'm actually just really stoked. Okay, so first of all, I love the, the feel, like you actually feel like you're on an R6, so that is something I can say. I thought, it was gonna, I thought it was gonna feel more like an R3 where it's a little bit higher up, but in this case, I think it's honestly perfect. I gotta make sure my camera is at a good angle on a different bike. Wow, bro, I want this bike. I've seen a ton of videos, but not many with an exhaust, man. And I am stoked to be able to ride this with one. The speedometer to me looks really, really cool. I thought it was gonna be more like the R3. It looks like a little bit darker, a little bit newer. That looks pretty dope. It's cool that you can't really see the triple tree. That was one thing I wasn't a huge fan of, but you could always change that out. So. That's easy. Wow, dude, I love this thing. Okay, let's try it out, guys. Woo! Wow, dude. Very smooth shifting. I absolutely love that. That slipper clutch is super nice. So easy to be able to pull that in. It's like way better than my FZ. The sound of this thing. This might be my new favorite sound. It's just a little quieter than my FZ, and I love that. Especially at like a stoplight. That's when it can get kind of annoying, but... Oh, that sounds good. I love this beautiful black color. I know a lot of people are a big fan of the blue on the Yamahas. I'm just not a big fan of blue, but even the Yamaha blue is really cool. I just, I prefer the black. So this thing is a beaut, man. He's got the sliders on it already. Those look really, really good. It's almost better in person than it is on camera. Did I really go the way that the light's gonna take forever? I just want to ride. Another thing that was a little weird to me, it's very squarish right here, but I have to say, like, it's really not that bad. A lot of people thought this bike was super thin, but I think it's, like, it's actually a little bit bigger than I expected after hearing everyone say that it's so thin. But I'm also coming from an FZ, so some people come from a little bit bigger bikes. That torque is there, bro. Like, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh my God, it is there, dude. I'm actually surprised. Oh my God, bro. So I love the seating position, first of all. Like, I think this is very comfortable, especially for a sport bike. I feel like I'm not putting that much weight on my wrist, so that's something that like makes a huge difference for me. I've only been riding for a few minutes, so maybe that's why. Um, but my GoPro battery just died, because I'm not used to the Hero 10, which dies a little bit faster. Better quality, dies a little bit faster, you know? So I'm gonna be a little bit later than even what I said, but damn, dude. I don't even know when my GoPro battery died, but hopefully I said what I needed to say. I gotta say, man, the brakes on this are actually really good. I've heard a couple of the people on the track say that they don't like the brakes as much, but I mean, for the city, like, it is perfect and then some. And it just sounds so good with that exhaust, bro. I know a lot of people were like a little upset that they called this the R7. 
I think from my perspective, I think that's exactly what they should have called it. I think first of all, it's going to sell better because of that. But second of all, I think it's like it literally is the perfect bike for that like realm of bike. The R3, the R6, the R1, I think you mix all of those parts together and you literally get this thing, including the MT-07. That's literally all of those bikes put into one and it feels great. I think it's got the same throttle as the R6. The same front end is like an R1. I think it could definitely pass as a starter bike if you really wanted it to be and you really want a fast bike. I think it's also balanced enough for a person who's been riding for a while. I've been riding for about five years now and I think this would be the perfect bike for me as well only because you can ride this bike to its max and really become a great rider before you upgrade to anything even bigger than this. And that's once again why I say that this bike is just perfectly balanced. I love how your legs fit onto this bike too. You can really hug the tank and use a lot of your weight with your legs and not so much with your wrists. And obviously with sport bikes, your wrists can get pretty tired pretty fast. All around, this is probably one of the most balanced bikes that I've ever been on. And the fact that it has that aggressive look that I'm looking for, especially in a sport bike, like I think this might be one of my new favorites. If you're looking for a sport bike, I think this is the way to go. Oh my gosh, Lily's there and he's riding her Aprilo 600. I, that's another bike I really want to test ride. And then you put these two side by side. It's a beautiful looking couple right here. So I got lost. <laughs> that's the only reason why it took more than 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, cool. But dude, I love that bike. Yeah. I, I'd say I think it's like the most balanced bike you could probably get. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I would describe it. Yo guys, so I am a little bit triggered right now. I just went through the footage and found out that I missed like 90% of my ride on the R7 and I'm so upset, man. Now the only thing you guys basically missed is me taking on the interstate and kind of giving you guys my view on what it is like to ride on the highway. And overall, I think it was a lot like my FZ. It's got that torque, it does really well, but once you get into like the higher range of the RPMs, you know, you're not gonna notice any major increase. Um, and maneuverability, and that's another thing that I really enjoyed about that bike, is you could really move it around. Not quite as much as you can the, the FZ07, but this is also a naked bike. Um, and then another thing that I also noticed taking on the highway is it was very stabilized. Like it was really nice that um, you don't have to worry about the handlebars wobbling and on this bike you definitely do. That's probably more of a comparison video between the FZ and the R7, but they're so similar that it's easy for me to do that. And then finally, I think the last thing I mentioned is I did compare it to the R6. Like a lot of people say, you can't really compare the two because they are different bikes. Uh, but I actually used to own an R6 and I kind of got bored of that riding in the street um, because of that whole like power thing. When you felt the power band of the R6, you were like already going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> um, so it flies once you hit that point. And it's a super fast bike. I did enjoy it, but again, I think I like something more balanced like the R7. I feel like a lot of people kind of put their egos in their bike and think that they're better riders than they really are. Uh, but I think like the best way to sum up the whole R7 thing, man, is I really enjoy riding a slower bike fast than a faster bike slow. Like I even have a great time on the R3 and I love the fact that um, something like the R7 is out there that has more speed, has more torque, but is also very well balanced. Uh, so basically guys, to wrap up this video, I really, really enjoyed the R7. Um, it's a very cool looking bike. It's very fun to ride, super balanced, and I genuinely believe that it is the perfect sport bike if you guys are looking for one. And then like the one like major downside that I noticed about the R7 is it lacked a little bit of power towards the higher RPMs. But once again, that's not like a huge deal for me. Uh, but to wrap up this video, I do want to thank Tuan for letting me ride his R7. Without him, I would not have been able to make any video on the R7. They're so hard to find. Uh, but I did enjoy that bike. I did enjoy the experience and hopefully I will be able to ride that bike more in the future. Ideally, I would have been able to make like a whole walk around of the bike with my nice camera, uh, give you guys a much better, longer review, but sadly I f***ed up by not knowing how long my GoPro battery lasts. But you guys, that is all we have for today's video. Don't forget about the meetup October 30th. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.